Ahead of Valentine's Day, the Better Business Bureau is warning everyone about romance scams. Last year, Americans lost $140 million to people using fake accounts to scam victims. New at 6, Action News Jack's Bridget Matter shows you how to avoid becoming a victim. With Valentine's Day around the corner, scammers are in full force. It's called romance scams, where scam artists lure people in, grooming them, and eventually taking their money. Just like a business, where a business has a sales script, they have a scam script, you know, how to lure you in. The Better Business Bureau of Northeast Florida and Southeast Atlantic says at any one time, 25,000 fraudsters are online. Scammers create profiles using other people's photos on dating sites and apps, then catfishing unsuspecting lovers. According to FBI data, Florida is the third most catfish state in the U.S. Creating a fake profile is relatively easy. I found someone by the name of Caitlin using my photo on a dating app posing as a 22-year-old grad student. I've reported this profile to the app. The BBB says profiles like mine can be used to scam people out of thousands of dollars. But there are ways to spot a bogus profile. Really look at the information that they're putting on there versus the information in the photo that they're providing. Look, you know, see if there are any red flags in just the profile. Really scrutinize the image and the information that they're putting out there. Nelson says reverse image search the photo and see if it belongs to someone else. And you're probably being catfished if they never want to meet you in person. The BBB says romance scams in the U.S. resulted in close to nearly $1 billion in the last three years. Bridget Matters, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.